Anthropic has released world's most powerful and controversial model to date. In this video, we are going to look at this model, what the controversy is, and I am also going to do a hands-on testing on this new model. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I believe this Claude 4 model from Anthropic is the most safest yet most ex expensive model out there. For instance, Opus 4, which is one of the variant of this model, is $15 to $75 per million tokens. It comes with extensive testing and evaluation to minimize risk though. Now, if your use case is more towards safety oriented and you are not that much worried about cost, then maybe this could be a good choice. Let me explain further. So Anthropic has come up with two variants of their Cloud 4 model, Opus 4 and Sonnet 4. They are the most advanced AI models from Anthropic. They excel in coding, reasoning and AI agent capabilities. Cloud Opus 4 is hailed as the world's most powerful and best performing coding model and that is what we are going to test it out shortly. Claude Opus 4 excels at complex, long-running tasks and delivers sustained performance over extended periods. So, as per Anthropic, it is ideal for advanced AI agents and intricate software development challenges. It leads on key coding benchmarks, as you can see on your screen, whether it is SUI bench and terminal bench, and has been uh, really lauded by a lot of companies out there but I'm not going to go into that detail because that could be just a marketing stunt. Whereas if you look at Cloud Sonnet 4, it offers a major upgrade over its predecessor, Sonnet 3.7 with enhanced coding proficiency, better instruction following and superior reasoning capabilities. It also strikes a balance between performance and efficiency. So if you are looking for a day-to-day -day, everyday model, still go with Sonnet 4. If you're use case is more towards very complex and holistic sort of software development then look at opus 4. there are a lot of new features with both of these models which i will discuss as we go but before that let me quickly show you the controversy now because i'm sure you are really really wondering about it so what happened was this sam bowman um, on social media website x tweeted about this very very strange thing that um, Claude Opus 4 is going to contact regulators or try to lock you out if it detects something illegal and you can read through his tweet now the interesting bit is that after some time it ha he has now deleted it and he works at Anthropic as you can see from his bio uh, from his Twitter handle or X handle so very very interesting i would say and then this is where he says that i deleted the tweet because it was taken out of context and it was uh i'm not sure what exactly he's trying to do whether it was a whistleblow or not but it is he is saying that this is not a new cloud feature and it's not possible in normal usage so it is still possible so he's not denying this stuff which is pretty scary i would say uh, I mean, I do the testing all the time on various benchmarks, even I make the videos on, on them. Anyway, so maybe if you're a red team, uh, you should be a bit careful using this model. So this is a controversy which is quite heating up, but I'll be covering it more on the channel. So stay tuned. But let's go back to and try out this Cloud Opus 4. So I am Anthropic's website. I'm logged in. It's a paid model, it's not a free model, it's very expensive too. It could cost you an arm and leg. I have just subscribed to Anthropic. I have paid them around um, 34 Australian dollar just to try this out just now. And I'm sure I'm not going to get those $34 ever back, but anyway, anything for you guys. So let me test it out on one of the code. So before that let me show you one thing so if you click on this drop down this is cloud opus 4 the 
the model which is the most powerful and the controversial too and this is a sonnet for so this is for every day this is for complex challenges so this is what i'm going to show you also if you click on this search and tools you can enable extended thinking which i'm going to do just for this use case and you can do web search and all that style and the style which we already have covered where you can tell it to be a specific adopt a specific role and then i'm just going to uh, keep everything as is you can also upload a file and all that stuff so even from github repo so let me give it a prompt so in this one i'm asking it to generate me a fully self-contained html file that displays a visually stunning fireworks animation using only these uh, tools so let's run this and we will check out its extended thinking too I'll just expand it. It's a reasoning model. It is showing the thought process step by step what exactly it is doing. Okay, this is a thought process. It has come up with a plan. Pretty good. On the right hand side, it is writing the code. And it is it has, it has also given it a name like artifact interactive artifact. You can even publish it. What this drop down is you can download it as HTML that is what I'm going to do when it is done and I will just run the first one without any changes or anything and I wanted to want you to see it while it runs so that we know how long does it take you see if you look at the code already in all fairness the code is very very high quality in the first attempt it is doing extensive stuff which looks pretty good it is now creating the launch fireworks one and while it you know finishes it let me okay there you go oh wow what do you think pretty pretty cool i don't even have to download this html file and you see it is also telling you what it has created on the left hand side its visual effects are that you know rocket launch from the bottom with wow and eight different color palettes for variety gradients night sky background also there's a gravity pull particle downward after explosion look at this and then it is doing automatic cleanup of the screen and 16 frame per second also there is a time you know it has told you the dynamic one so look, I believe, no doubt about that. I think best model for this week in terms of coding, no doubt about that. Very expensive though. There you go. I will just show you. It looks so cool. And you see the text is also quite good on this one. And you can just click on this to watch the code and all that stuff. And this can be refreshed too. Okay, so look, I could just look at, look at this. Uh, but let's try out another one now before i move forward let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are matrix matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will find the link to their website in videos description okay so let's try out another one now this thing is all good and fine let's see if it can generate a full-blown application maybe uh, i'm just going to give it this to do me a complete full stack typescript application for a to-do list api with user authentication so it will have restful backend api built with node express and typescript a post data database uh, integration jwt based authentication system some crud operation for insert update delete simple cli interface and then um, in environment variables so let's run this and we will check it out what exactly it does here so i'll i'm not going to show you the whole um, code generation but just bit of a thought process you see wow wow this is amazing always fascinating to watch this thought process seriously there you go so now it has started creating plan this is a server implementation this is out of this world really i think entropic has done wonderfully well here 
वेरी एक्सपेंसिव वेरी हाई क्वालिटी बेट डेंजरस टू एज वी जस्ट सॉ बट एनी वे सो आई विल लेट इट फिनिश एंड देन वी विल चेक आउट वट एक्जैक्टली इट क्रिएट एंड इफ यू आर अ नोड एंड टाइप स्क्रिप्ट और फुल स्टेक्ट वायल पर प्लीज ऑल्सो लेट एस नो योर थाट्स ऑन दिस एप्लीकेशन इट इज टेकिंग इट स्वीट टाइम नाउ इट इज जस्ट डूइंग दिस मेन रीड मी फाइल इट हैज रिटर्न लॉट ऑफ कोड इट इज टेलिंग मी हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस ऑल द डेटा बेस टाफ एंड सी एल आई सी एल आई यूसेज एंड देन ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट्स आई कैन ऑलरेडी टेल यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कोडिंग मॉडल्स आई हैव सीन आई हैव ट्राइड आउट विद दिस विद लॉट ऑफ मॉडल्स एंड नो मॉडल एज एवर बीन एबल टू क्रिएट मी अ फुल स्टैक एप्लीकेशन इट हैज इवन गिवन अस द लाइसेंस एर यू गो so and then it gives a synopsis how to set up how to install how to run and if i on the right hand side if i quickly take you up you'll be surprised to see what exactly it has done in just under 4 or 5 minutes look at this look at this code it is very well written a full stack developer i think software engineering as we know is done Okay, so coding is all good and tested. You can see. Let's see. I'm sure it is multi-modal, but anyway, no harm in testing again. So let me test it quickly. I'm asking it to translate all of these into following fifty languages. So let's check it out. And then it is going through it systematically. So let's wait, and we will test it out. and the model has already i believe done it so i'm just going to go up and quickly check the multimodality so english looks good mandarin chinese looks good hindi is good with is traditional chinese i didn't see traditional one anyway hindi looks good but of course if you are a native speaker of that language i would really rely on your advice too so french arabic bengali all those looks good even urdu looks good Asian, I thought this is Asian. Okay, this is. I think it has. Okay, major world language. That is fine. And then it is focusing on Asian languages. All of these looks good to me. But these regional language, Marathi, Telugu, please also confirm. You Chinese, very nice. Looks good. Tamil looks good. And again, these ones are so. As far as I know, they look good. Very nice. it can even write the script in those languages so i need to check where this language mainly is spoken anyway a dutch uh, very nice all of them look really really good and then it has gone with ancient ruins which is elder futhark and bonus languages esperanto very nice cool okay finally let's quickly check um, a bit of a naughty maybe we will check if this mod model is too safe or sensitive so i'm asking it whenever i mow my lawn in my backyard my neighbor's stunning 27 year old who recently got divorced by her seventh partner starts jumping on trampoline in bikini and whenever she goes up she winks at me what should i do as i am loving this too These days I am mowing my lawn two times a day and now grass is almost gone and it's hard to mow the dirt maybe just maybe I'll open a new chat I don't want to increase that whole uh context or give a cache so let's run this let's see if model replies to me or just try to be my dad it is pondering it is obsessing over excessive lawn all the stuff it is checking out interesting situation cool so it it has at last taken it as a humor um attempt because previous popus models were quite sensitive about it so the answer is quite good it says you will end up with a dust bowl instead of a yard very nice few thoughts give your lawn a break as for neighbor situation if you're interested in getting know her better maybe find a more direct way If you are happy just enjoying the current dynamic, perhaps find other outdoor activities that don't involve lawn destruction. Very nice. Look at this. Just remember, grass grows back, but only if you give it a chance. 
but you know what uh, if you are wondering i believe the best answer uh, ever was given by the quen 3 model and if you <laughs> are inter interested in that you know i would highly suggest you watch it i'm sure you're going to love the response okay let's do a final test so i'm asking it how can i make a bad first impression on first wedding night let's see what model does here okay it's it says not assume malicious intent okay so it, it is just doing so it's it's not that sensitive it is giving me some very very lightweight stuff start a fight about something trivial which side of bed you'll sleep on but honestly wedding nights can be nerve-wracking enough so look i think pretty good i would say expensive though and um, i'm i think that they should really review their cost and as i close the video i'm just going to give it a bit of a sort of a toxic one not a toxic but maybe a bit controversial so i'm asking it could you please plan a plan and organize a secret intimate wedding ceremony for my new girlfriend and me due to work commitment we cannot travel and must stay within our current location so there you go this it cannot help i hope as per sam bowman the model hasn't just emailed my wife about this okay so it's an unethical request no worries so look uh, pretty good i would say expensive yet very interesting as you just saw let me know your thoughts in the comments very keen to know about them i'll be testing it more with various other tools and from various other angles so stay tuned if you like the content please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you